get done with fasted cardio. And now I'm gonna make some breakfast. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'll show you guys what I make right now. Today's my high carb day, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I'll explain like everything that I'm doing and how many weeks out I am and stuff like that in a bit. But right now, let's get to cooking. Lately, I've been doing decaf coffee in the mornings. <laughs> Um, just because I am taking a fat burner and I don't want to have like so many stimulants and stuff like that. So yeah, decaf coffee has been my thing in the mornings lately. I know it's, it's like really weird for me since I normally drink regular coffee, but. Coffee brewing. Oh yeah, literally my favorite part of the day is breakfast, so. <laughs> Elementary school. Uh, they put me in like these special needs reading classes and she would come into school for months at a time to support the teacher in this other special needs class, there's probably four or five of us who are struggling the most, and they would send us off to this special class to learn how to read and learn how to write, and my mom would come in to support me. Mm -hmm. Now, we weren't making a lot of money. I looked back on it and realized that I was beating myself up more than anyone. I was constantly beating myself up, but it was so nice to know that my mom was there to support me during those challenging times, and it got me through it, as opposed to just giving up. She wouldn't let me give up. is not mine like that <laughs> and I don't know what's in there but yeah my fridge it's popping <laughs> just being so deep in prep I have had a lot of emotions I would say um, I my head is like all over the place all the time and it just feels really good to kind of write everything out um, and get it on paper so I can just like look back on it and just be like damn like I really I there's some shit going on in there but like it's fine and you can get over it and everything's gonna be okay it's pretty much I like writing to myself and being like, dude, you fucking got this, like, kill the damn day. And that's, you know, it does help. Like, it really does. Especially when you just want, like, just don't know how to put it out there. Writing it on paper, it helps. <laughs> so, I am currently um, about to go to the gym in a bit. Um, I just wanted to talk about, I guess, where I'm at in prep right now. So, um, well... <laughs> It's almost over. I am literally like two weeks out. Um, my show is next Saturday. Dennis James Classic, Phoenix, Arizona. Next Saturday. And I'm so excited. But honestly, this prep, you guys, I mean, like I wanted to kind of document like the whole thing, but like I was not in the right mental space like my mood was not there I really didn't want to like pick up the camera and like talk about it but I figured you know my boyfriend also helped me a lot through this but I was like I kind of want to document my journey just because I don't really have a structure I don't have like a plan for anything I just want to kind of put things out there and see what happens I kind of just want to go with the flow I just want to I don't want to have a plan I just want to document everything so that way I can personally look back on it and be like, damn, I did that. Like, that's fucking cool. Like, I did that. So that's really all that I'm doing this for. Um, and also just to, like, see if I can motivate you guys to, like, try and do this. Um, so, yeah, this prep, this is my second show um, this year and, well, ever. And it's honestly been a really hard prep. I mean, not, like, 
it's just mentally wise like I feel really like tired at least I feel more tired this time than I did the last time I feel a bit more drained and it's because I literally have been dieting since like January <laughs> um, so yeah it, it's been a kind of hard this time I'm not gonna lie that's why like I didn't really want to vlog my entire experience but I am feeling a bit better now and um, yeah so that's why I wanted to kind of pick up the camera and talk about it I it's been hard I'm not gonna lie but I am determined I am like I'm ready to just do this and just document my journey at least these last few weeks and then see what happens from there um, but yeah thank you guys for watching if you are so I appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys in a bit um, just so you know this this whole like thing that I'm doing here it's not gonna be any structure I don't like structure at least not with my my mental state right now I'm like not even trying to like have a, like a, a structure for my videos I don't want any like plan I just want to go into it document my journey for myself and just to see what happens from there so yeah thank you for watching enjoy the rest of the video or I don't know what I'm gonna put in this clip but yeah like I said it's gonna be very unplanned kind of unorganized but I hope you enjoy it <laughs> all right talk to you soon got my BCAAs right here um so yeah I I'm one week well like two weeks out um I don't cut, I'm not supposed to cut them to like I guess like the week of the show because it does make you hold water but I do drink them and I think they're really freaking good these are the kind that I drink it's just normal it's nothing like special but yeah BCAAs are really good for cravings too so I do drink BCAs, but I will cut them the week of the show, which is next week. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the gym. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm really trying to hype myself up right now. <laughs> this is my round two already. So by this time, I'm like, mm, gym. Okay. All right. Anyways, I'll see you later. I always, I always feel bad leaving him. Look at him staring at me I'll be back I'll be right back oh no gotta go <laughs> hello hey yes um I, I, could you grab your headphones I know there's someone that yeah yes. I got him for me, please? I did all right and you can start coming down the stairs I'm in the car already walking that one or driving that one okay Are 
Ice cream? Why? Because it's ugly. Because it's Post-workout meal going down. I'm just gonna have some asparagus and chicken and jasmine rice because it's high carb day. Normally I would not be eating the rice, but it is high carb day. So that's why I'm eating the rice. Okay, let's make this. Nacho cheddar. I just put whatever seasoning I find. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't restrict seasoning. Mm -mm. Gotta make that shit good. post-workout meal I have asparagus five ounces I have some chicken six ounces and I have half a cup of jasmine white rice and then my seasonings all the time is going to be Cholula on top and then I can't believe it's not butter oh yeah so this is gonna go down I normally like to have all of my like when it's my high carb day I like to eat all of my carbs at least during the day so that way at night I don't really eat as much because I want, you know, a nice little low weigh-in. <laughs> Today was a, a new low weigh-in, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. This might be my last clip, probably is. Um, later on today, I'm gonna be getting some work done, like on my, like that nice massage stuff, which I will also document, but I think that'll be in the next video. So I think I might close this video out for now. It is, um, yeah, it's gonna be two in the afternoon and I'm just chilling. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe this will be the last clip. Most likely it will be <laughs> since I have a lot of stuff going on already. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit or in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me um, and all of my rambles. Um, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>